Hello, greetings, friends and fellow movers. So this is number one in a series. And what we're doing is 10 weeks for fall fitness. <laughs> and what that means is we've got a weekly workout. It's going to be about an hour. Um, don't like hold me to that, <laughs> like to the second. Um, I'm not great about that. I tend to go over, but I'm aiming for about an hour and we're actually working off of a set of classes that I had created for a corporate fitness um, class that I taught uh, over the past couple of years. And so I'm just pulling out some of the greatest hits from those routines and giving them a remix and uh, a reboot and doing them here as a live stream. So what you'll need today are weights. You're gonna need some free weights, some dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, some of this would work without the weights, but some of it, especially in the upper body, um, it really won't work without hand weights. Although you could improvise if you have some um, water bottles at home that you can hold. I would say fill those up uh, and that will give you a couple pounds at least per hand or you or you can get creative with other household items but this is really designed to be a dumbbell um, pretty dumbbell heavy not not heavy weight but um, dumbbell dominant <laughs> is a good way to put it um, workout so it is it is programmed around dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna get started with our warming series. So this is dynamic mobility to get us going. Let's stand on up. So in all these routines, and certainly if you've been working out with me for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of a really good thorough warm up, and I like to do my dynamic mobility work within my warm up. So let's just start with a simple march. And this is it, we're off and going. So just a simple march side to side. You can tap um, opposite hand to me as I'm doing. If you don't care for that, uh, that's perfectly fine. You can do no arms, you can do like just a marching arm, whatever you like. We just wanna get our, ourselves moving, get the blood flow going, and check in with the body. You know, see, see how everything's feeling today here at the very start of your movement routine. Next move is just big arm circles. So we can start circling backwards, although honestly it doesn't matter which way you start because we will go both directions with this. So you can just keep circling there. And now let's switch, circle the opposite direction. We're gonna do, uh, we'll do these two moves again. We're gonna do them three times total. So let's go back to the march. So what we're working with today are supersets. Um, well, we're working with a couple different things. There's some layering to this routine, but mainly what you'll see are paired, paired exercises, which is supersetting. Just keep the march going. So we've started right away in this routine with supersets. So our dynamic mobility series we're getting ready for arm circles here. This dynamic mobility series is structured around uh, two movements that are paired and we do them for time. So that is something that you'll see throughout this routine is two movements paired and done for time. Reverse. The timing here for our mobility series is 30 seconds. Just nice and big mobilizing those shoulder joints. And let's go back to the march one more time. Now for this march, if you're starting to feel warmer uh, in your shoulders, you can do a nice big arm swing here. But again, really any arms you like. We're just trying to move those feet, pump some blood to the larger muscle groups so that we can, uh, we can be fully prepared for some good strength work today. Okay, so going into our next uh, pair, let's sit down into a squat, and then as you come up, tap your back toe, reach your arm up. Okay, so let's try that again. You squat, pivot, reach, pivot, reach. So the arm that reaches over is coordinating with the toe that's tapping back. And you get a little squat in the center. 
I like to think of this as a squat pivot reach. <laughs> it's always nice to get a little bit of rotational work into our mobility series. Next move, as we come up, we have a little leg swing forward, step, step, leg swing. Nice and easy, does not need to be big, especially as you're just warming up. But of course, you use your own range of motion. Whatever range of motion is available in your body today, go ahead and maximize it. We're gonna be going back again to the squat. All right, so squat, pivot, reach. We're gonna do these two moves three times. And you just get a nice twist at the top Nice overhead reach. Hopefully the body is beginning to wake up already. And whew, the leg swings. So I, I aim for my hand reaching forward. Um, that's just one style. You don't have to do that. <laughs> But if you like it, you can do it. Otherwise, just get a nice leg swing going. That little step step just lets you, um, get, gives you a little more thrust for the next repetition. So it's a nice way, let's do one more round of squat. It's a nice way on that leg swing to uh, use your momentum a little bit more. So you get a good, you get a good range of motion from the hip joint. Nice, again, checking in with your body. See how everything is moving, how everything is feeling in this series. And let's do leg swings one more time. My body, <laughs> my body's not feeling so sprightly today, just so you know. And it's also nice for me to communicate to myself consciously that like, I'm not starting my freshest. I did a tough workout uh, with the weights yesterday. So I'm feeling it today. But we work with what we've got. That's, that's all, that's the name of the game. That's all that it's about. Let's step wide. We're on to our next pair. So wide stance, straight legs go down one leg, over to the other foot and up the other leg. And then you go down, over, and back up. So down, over, up. And then from the same side, you go down again. This is your toe touch sweep. Get a little side bend at the top. All right, we're gonna keep our feet where they are and just do a, like a speed skater side to side lateral lunge. Sticking your hips out behind you mindful that your spine stays nice and uh, extended. And we also want the hips lower than the heart or hips lower than the shoulders. So we're not dropping the chest, we're not dropping the shoulders, we're actually dropping the bum. And just going laterally there, all right, come back up, toe touch sweep, here we go. Here the legs are straight. We go down one side over. And then you, when you're up at the top, get a little side bend, just opening there through the side waist. Nice way to get into the hamstrings, the inner thighs, and the core body. Let's come into the side lunges again. Again, we're doing these two moves three times through. So we're already into the second round for these. You can put your hands anywhere you like. Anywhere you like. All we're trying to do is shift side to side while we take the hips back. Keep the length of your spine. And breathe. Warming up those thighs and those hips. One more time, toe touch sweeps. Down on one side, up on the other. Nice dynamic range of motion there.
Got lots of good lower body moves in this routine, so definitely want to make sure those hip joints are good and uh, mobile. One more time, side lunge. And breathing. Yeah, again, you can put your hands anywhere you like your hands. So sometimes I touch my legs, sometimes I reach forward, sometimes hands behind head is nice, although that's more challenging. <laughs> Push and pull, push and pull. We're gonna be going into some jumping jacks. Let's come on up. And we're gonna start with the low impact. So you've got a bent knee in the middle, tapping lightly to the side. And I encourage you, if this is sort of where your body's at today, if you don't really feel ready to do any jumping, uh, then please stay here. If you're ready to take it up a few notches, you can add the plyometric hop, so a classic jack. Your choice. We're gonna go 30 more seconds here. Again, just making sure we got some good blood flow happening before we pick up our first set of weights. Almost there. All right, and time. So as you choose your first set of weights, what we have here, again, there's a layered effect. I promised you supersets and we are gonna get there. But before we do the supersets, or before we do our first duet of supersets, uh, and, and in between all of the supersets today, we have a five by five. So without Without too much cumbersome explanation, you're going to choose a weight that you can do for an overhead position. We are going to do other things with it, but the limiting factor is the overhead position. So please choose a weight based on that. If you are not all that experienced with weightlifting, then I'm going to suggest, hi, <laughs> I'm going to suggest just go medium or light and figure it out as you go. Right, you'll know pretty quickly if you chose wisely. And I'm just gonna put my gloves on so I'm safe with those weights. So we have this five by five means, we have five moves and we're doing five repetitions. It's only five reps um, each round. Of course, we're gonna do five rounds, right? So it's like a five by five by five. Uh, as I said, you're gonna layer this in between your supersets. So we'll be seeing this multiple times. All right, so for the first round, I'm gonna be a little more conservative with my weight. Again, I recommend maybe you be conservative as well because you're gonna see this four more times and you can always go up in weight uh, as we proceed through the workout. So first is a squat with an overhead press. Set your feet to squat. This first uh, round of the five by five will go just a little slower so I can tell you everything. All right, get the weights up to your shoulders. We're gonna squat down and then as we stand, press the weights overhead, ready? And begin. So squat down, stand, push. One, squat, push. Two, squat, push. Three, four, and five. All right, no big deal. Next one, this is a squat thrust with a push up. So we're gonna do a push up on top of the weights Step or hop back. Your choice about stepping and hopping today, whatever you want to do. One push up, just one. That's not so bad, right? Step or hop up. And then you do you hold the weights. You do a hinge, so make sure you plug the lats in, plug the shoulders back. There's a long line of your spine. We're not rounded forward. The arms aren't pulling out of socket. So lock in, okay? Load your hips, <laughs> and then do a little jump. All right, little jump, weights back down. Okay, that was one, now go back, push up. Step or jump up, little jump, little jump. That's two, go again. Push up, little jump, again, 
push up, little jump, one more, little jump, that's five, okay? So those are your first two moves. Now, third move in this five by five, single, single, double row. So we're in a bent over position. Again, flat back, hinge from hips. Pull one weight in a row, other weight in a row, right back to your waist, and then double. Go again, single, pull, single, pull, double pull. Two, single, single, abs are tight. Double, that was three, go again, single, single, double four. One more time, single, single, and double five. All right, next time we're gonna try to hold the weights the whole time, but here we're just learning. Take a breather, that was your third move. So, alternating snatch. A snatch is an explosive move, it's a more advanced move because of that. Although as far as power moves go, it's probably the easiest power move, uh, as opposed to like a clean or a jerk. So, um, there it is. If this is new to you, what I'm gonna recommend is that you do a bicep curl into an overhead press. Do, and you'll do three to five per arm. You can just stay with me for time. If you have experience with doing the snatch, then we're gonna put the weight down between our feet in between sides and we're gonna do five each arm, all right? I'm not gonna break down snatch technique right here, right now. So if you know it, you'll do it. If you don't know it, you're gonna do the curl press. Okay, so. Five per arm, again, if you're doing curl and press, you're gonna go slower, so you might only do three per arm, but just stay with me um, for the amount of time that I'm doing my snatches, and then we'll all move on together to the last move in the four by five, uh, in the five by five. Okay, so we start at the ground. Again, we're gonna be alternating sides, ready, and go. One, carefully it comes back down. Two, So it's five per side, so that was two. <laughs> Lost my own count there for a second. That's three. Four. And five, okay? So if you're doing your curl press, finish up. Last move is actually not with the weights. Five seesaw. So it's a plyo move. Hands down, feet up, click your heels, and then feet down, uh, and you do a jump. Uh, it's a lot to describe verbally. I'm gonna ask you just watch once or twice and then rewind the video and start with me. So again, hands down, feet up, and then feet down, jump up. That's essentially the pattern. Okay, so it's almost like you're gonna do a handstand. And then you got a little jump at the top. And what I'm gonna do is like a double butt kick. So let's call that, actually just don't call that anything. That was your, that was your visual preview. <laughs> let's do them now for five. Here we go, hands down, kick, up, kick. One, two. Three, four, one more. Okay, short breather. That was your first five by five. Five reps of five moves. Now, so you're gonna see it again. You're gonna see it again. But now let's go into our first superset. So we have sumo squat, upright row. It's another single, single, double pattern. And we're pairing that with a shoulder move which is your Arnold press. So we want something that we can upright row and we want something that we can Arnold press. Again, going overhead is gonna be the limiting factor here. So choose the weight that makes sense for you. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds. We're starting in the sumo squat position. This is timed. So we're doing 45 seconds on 15 seconds in between, or a 15 second rest, if you like to think of it as rest, um, is not really much of a rest though. <laughs> oh, and we're doing three rounds, three rounds of this superset. Ready? Sumo squat down, 
pull one arm up, sumo squat down. Other arm up. Now both arms, and go again. So each time you stand, you pull, but we're doing the pulls as single, single, double. Pick your own pace. So here you don't have to stay with my pace. You can choose your own pace, 20 seconds to go. And all we do is fill the time together, right? So we're in it together, but we're not doing it on the same rep count because reps don't matter when you're using the timer. I love it because of that, I love it. I love that we don't have to count. <laughs> okay, time. You can put the weights down or choose new weights, 10 seconds. Arnold press, palms face you at the shoulder, and then you flip and palms face forward at the top. Ready? Arnold press, and begin. So this is just a very simple move but it's really gonna tire out the shoulders by pairing it with that single, single, double upright row. 30 seconds. At this point, you should know if it was a good weight choice. You can always make a different choice for your next round. Here, you're just moving at a pace that works for you. 10 seconds. and time. We're gonna do those two, two more times, three rounds total. So just catch your breath, preparing. We got the sumo squat, so feet wide, toes turned out, ready. And here we go, single, single, and then both, that's your double. And we're gonna keep the weights really close to the body. That's the same with the snatches really, really close to the body. So it's like you're zipping up your winter coat. Yeah. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. This is a glute heavy variation of a squat, which is to say more glute dominant uh, because of the rotation. Most squats are very quad dominant. Whew. This one is time. This one is a little more uh, booty centric. Uh, 10 seconds, Arnold presses are next. Right, and you can grab water anytime. You can hit pause, take a longer break anytime. It's your workout and it's important that you treat it that way, right? That you approach this as your sacred, <laughs> Um, personal embodiment time, that this is an opportunity for you to go deeper into like the essence of your being. Ooh, that was very yogic right there. But it's so true, right? It's through movement that we achieve a deeper connection with ourselves. And you wanna treat this time um, with great respect and a lot of reverence. Almost there. Time. And part of what that means is learning how to listen really well, like listen inward really well, and know what works for you. Ready to go? Let's do one more set, one more set. So for instance, the distance of my feet might not be the distance of your feet. The depth of your squat may not be the depth of my squat, right? We're all gonna be a little different. And it's just up to you as you work out at home to figure out what's best for your body. And of course, it's gonna change all the time. So it's like, what's best for your body today? <laughs> 10 seconds. Ooh, so it really is, movement is always a practice in self-awareness because you always have to be checking in. All right, time. We have one more, Arnold press. Again, you could use different weights if that's what's best for you. Five seconds. Let's do one more set right here, one more set. 
Again, I'm not prescribing a particular tempo. Sometimes I will, like we'll do different timings for different reasons. But today, you're just going at a comfortable, steady pace for your fitness level. It's also gonna depend quite a bit on the weights that you selected. At this point, it should be getting challenging. 10 seconds. And time, nice. Okay, take a short recovery. Now you might want those weights for your five by five again, or you might choose to change your weights up. Check it out. So when you hear the chicken, that means that you, it's the alarm, um, it means that you finished that particular interval. So good job you, job well done. That's your first super set. We're gonna do three more, but before we do, let's do our five by five. So again, first move in the, in the five by five is the squat thrust, uh, the squat overhead press often called a thruster, because you're welcome to use your legs uh, for this one. So you get a little bit of power and momentum. I'm gonna try going up in weight, we'll see how, we'll see how I do with that. <laughs> okay, so we have five squat overhead press. Get the weights to your shoulders. On this one, we do try to stay together because it's rep count. Ready, and begin. Squat, push, use your legs. One, use your legs. Two, pop it up. Three, four, one more. Five, nice job, carefully. Whew, set those weights, squat thrust. So this is like a burpee, yeah? Kinda like a burpee, <laughs> but we got weights. Going back for a push up, up for a little jump. This time I'm gonna to try to jump between my weights so they're on either sides of my feet. If you're doing that as well, just be super mindful of, of where you land. You don't wanna hurt your foot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Back to a push up. I speak from experience on that one, my friends. Okay, push up, jump up, and little jump at the top. If you don't feel safe with that, simply stand up. I'll show you that on this round if you wanna watch it. So I jump. I don't, uh, I don't jump at the top, I just stand and squeeze my butt, so it's like a deadlift. Okay, three more. Two more. One more. And time or done. Now on that one, it is a more advanced move. So if you have any inquiry, any question, um, any hesitation about your technique, I'm gonna ask you to contact me, like do a private message, and I'll, we'll, we'll hash it out together. All right, I can't, I can't go into all the details right now, but there is a lot going on there. Pick up the weights, single, single, double, bend over row. So back flat, glutes go back, hinge at your hips, and begin, single, pull, single, double pull, one. Again, use your back. Two, use your back more than your biceps. Three, again. Four, one more. Nice. We have two more moves. You're doing so great. Single arm uh, snatch. Remember, you can also do a bicep curl to an overhead press if the snatch is new, if it's scary, if you really, if you have any instinct in, inside of you saying, I'm not so sure, what I would recommend is listen to the little voice because the little voice is your wisdom. Don't do anything you don't feel safe doing, especially with heavy weight, especially if it's explosive, okay? You wanna be like extra careful, cautious with those combinations. 
but if you know what you're doing, we're gonna do it. So you got five per side, ready, and here we go. Putting it down in the middle. So you do have to do a hinge move, you have to do a little deadlift here. That was one. Here's two. Three. Four. And five. If you're doing your, doing your single arm, finish that up, uh, single arm curl press, just finish that up on your second side. And then take a rest. We got one more. Seesaw, we're not gonna rest long, we're pretty much getting to it. Hands down, feet up, and then when the feet are down, you jump up. So I'm gonna do a heel click when my hands are down. I'm gonna do a heel grab when I do my vertical leap. Five of them, ready? Let's start with the hands down, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, a little rest. I always feel, I always feel like the last one is the best one. And I'm like, gee, why couldn't I have started with that? But that's okay. They build, it all builds. That's two of five. Your second five by five is done. On to your next superset pair. So there's really no jumping with these supersets. They are not meant to be cardio. The five by five is your weighted cardio conditioning. That's your metabolic work. Here we're back to strength. Not to say that your heart rate won't lift, um, uh, won't elevate rather, because it will. Your heart rate will definitely elevate through this whole program. But right now our focus is on slowing down and working strength. Okay, so we're gonna do a static lunge. You're gonna be in a lunge, you're gonna go up and down and we're gonna add a shoulder move. This is for 45 seconds, all right? And what we're gonna do is one leg at a time and we'll do different shoulder movements. You'll see, you'll see what I mean very quickly. So, ready for a lunge and a front raise. Now front raise is a small, this is a small muscle group, so I'm gonna recommend to go light. I'm gonna try this weight to start, but I'm perfectly prepared to go down and wait for my next set, because uh, this really might be a little much. I just wanna try it. Okay, so one foot forward, other foot back. Begin, we're gonna go down in a lunge, back knee, taps the floor, and then as you come up, lift your arms in front of you. So we go down and up. Now when the arms go up, we're, we're avoiding the swing on this one. So some things you want to use momentum and some things you don't. In this one, we don't, no momentum here. So we just go down and up. We're stopping the weights about shoulder level. So it's a front raise. And of course, your legs are working hard as well. Almost done. Five seconds. And time, okay? So 15 seconds, we're gonna switch legs. This time, instead of a front raise, we're gonna do a lateral raise to the side. So other foot forward, set your lunge. And here we go. So we go down in the lunge, up laterals. Down and up. Everything goes down, everything goes up. A lot of balance, so focus, breathe. Right away, I'm starting to regret this weight choice, but I'm gonna stick it out as long as I can. So there's only 15 seconds left. Keep breathing. Time. Okay. Woo, we're pair 
wearing that, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, isn't that already a pair? <laughs> yes, it sort of is. But we're actually gonna add something else. So we're gonna do a push-up, unweighted. Push-up combo. Push-up with a kick through. So I'm gonna recommend, again, watch it once or twice. Join when you're ready. So it is one push-up center, thread a leg under and kick it to the side. Join when you're ready. So we've got some rotation. We've got a nice core move in here. And of course we've got the push-up. Most of what we do today is with the dumbbells. So when we do something without, like this move, enjoy. Enjoy uh, manipulating your own body through space against gravity. No implements, no equipment. It's just you and you. 10 seconds. Nice. And time. Okay, let's come right back up. We are getting our weights again. Start with one foot forward. I'm gonna go down, because I learned my lesson. <laughs> okay, so this time, I'm gonna lift the weights as I bend my front knee. So we're changing the pattern. It's still the same idea, still all the same stuff, but we just mixed it up a little. So when I lunge down, arms come up shoulder uh, height or shoulder level. Back knee just grazes the ground. So we're not ever resting any weight on that back leg. Keep breathing. Almost there. And time. Ooh, that weight is much better. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I did the first one, though. I'm glad I tried. It's always good to challenge yourself. All right, we're doing lateral. Switch your legs. Other foot forward. Now, same thing. When we go down, lift the arms out to the side. All right, so we've just reversed the relationship of arms to legs. If it gets too much in the upper body at any time, then this is your modification. Shoulders roll back, elbows bend at 90. And I do a 90 degree lateral raise instead of a straight arm lateral raise. All right, so if you really challenged your weights here, and it starts to get too much, then you go here. I'm gonna stay here, I like it here. <laughs> Time, <laughs> push-ups with the kick through. We're going right to it, guys. Knee, knees down on the push-up anytime. That's always an option that's available to you. Let's begin, here we go. Oh man really feeling that shoulder work on this round. But we're gonna push through. Keep breathing. So as with all strength work, it builds, right, in the intensity. And it's just gonna get tougher as we keep going through these rounds. But that's the challenge to your endurance, both mental and muscular. So just stay with it. Modify when you need to. Make adjustments when you need to, but try to keep going. Time. Stand on up. Get your weights. One more round. On the final round, I invite you to choose which pattern you liked, and you'll repeat it. Here we go. So whichever pattern you prefer, please do it again, because this is our third and final round. Which is to say we have to do all of these one more time. <laughs> one more of everything. Then we take a rest, we grab a drink of water, and we move on.
Almost there. Five seconds now. Time. All right, as you know, we're lunging, other leg, lateral raises. Heart rate is definitely up there now. Feeling the cardio of it. Ready? Other foot forward. Here we go. Balance and stability is huge on this move. So focus, focus, keep breathing. Strong and steady. Bent arms anytime you want. If you get really gassed in the upper body, you can also just do the lunges, let the arms hang, right? You've only got 10 seconds now. I, sh I, told I should have told you that a lot sooner, so sorry. Maybe you'll do the workout more than once. Time, <laughs> if you do it more than once, remember that for next time. You can always just let your arms hang. Push up, leg thread, last round. Here we go. Big in. You can go quick if that's the flavor of the day for you. As I mentioned before, whew, I am pretty gassed out already, just starting today uh, from yesterday. So I'm gonna go slow, but you can go any pace you want. Maybe you do five reps. Maybe you do 20 or anywhere in between. The reps don't matter. Just quality, technique, and perseverance. That's all that this is about. Technique and endurance. Time. Okay. So, take a little break. A little stretch. A little release. Little drink of water, chicken time. <laughs> nice, okay. So, we're stepping away from the timer again for a moment. Five by five, you know it, you love it. Or at least, at least you now know it. <laughs> the love might be forthcoming, right? You'll love it later. When you think back that you did it, you'll love it. You'll love that you did it, maybe, I don't know. Um, if you can love it during though, that's even better. So let's try to love it together. We've got thrusters. So again, we're getting a little more tired. There's a cumulative effect today, but that's why we're here. Let's do it. So we're gonna squat and press the weight up overhead. So rock the weight to your shoulders so that you're ready to go and begin. Squat down and push, use your legs. One, two, three, four, one more, five, okay? Carefully, waist down. We are going back into a push up, up into a jump. I'm just gonna leave. I'm going to leave the camera there. Ready? Let's do it. Push up. Jump up. Jump again or just stand. One. So remember your choices there. Two. Three. Four, one more. Five, short break. Heart rate down a little, just a little. We have rows, bent over row. I'm breathing, I hope you're breathing. Again, the cardio effect is gonna depend a lot on the weight you choose. The heavier you go, the more oxygen your body needs. All right, single, single doubles. Let's get after it, and then we do our snatches. 
set. I'll try a different angle for you, if that helps, which I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Here we go, single, single. Keep the weight close to the waist and double time. Single, single. We count on the double, two. Remember everything for five here. Three. Four. Five, awesome. So getting ready for the snatches or you're doing the bicep curl overhead press. Pulling from the ground if you're doing the snatch. So we put the bell down each time. Lots of power, use your legs. Keep the bell really close, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. It's actually a really lightweight uh, for me for snatch. But in the context of this five by five, where I'm not really, I'm not really working on power necessarily. It's really just a metabolic boost. So it's more about weighted cardio. Um, in that case, in this context, that's fine. It's more than, it's more than plenty. Okay, seesaw. Five seesaw ready, hands down first. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. All right, little rest. Grab some water. We have our final superset. I had originally written this as four supersets, but just looking at our timestamp, we're only going to do one more today. Okay, so I hope that doesn't break your heart. Try, I'm trying to stay around that hour line. Okay, so we're gonna go into uh, abs. Let's do abs. We've done everything else. So uh, this is a pullover, sit up. I'm gonna go with a medium weight. So pullover means the arms go over your head on the ground and then you sit up, bring the weight to your ankles. All right, so we'll do that for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna pair it just with a reverse crunch. So in the reverse crunch, you're gonna anchor your hands above you using your bell uh, and lift your legs straight up vertical. Hips, hips lift, obviously, hip lift, leg lift. And then we slowly, this is the big thing, is to fight gravity. We slowly return to the start position. So again, if you, are not familiar with the moves, go ahead, watch a couple. And then when you feel that you're ready to join in, then you join in. All right, so 45 seconds, starting with the pullover sit up. You have a 10 second countdown here. So you can get in position with the weight overhead. I've got one weight. I'm gonna hold it end to end. Uh, if you have a different system, I'm fine with that. So. You do whatever you do for a nice, there we go, weighted sit up. So we have the weight overhead, pull over using the lats, using obviously your abs, and then coming right to your ankles, right to your feet. If you're holding the bell like I am, be mindful you don't smash your feet. So you're moving, you're moving with a lot of awareness here. We got 10 seconds. Love this one. Okay. So we're going to stay on the ground, anchoring your hands over your head using the bell, or you can anchor any way you like, whatever's, whatever's good for you. Okay. I'm just going to continue to hold on 
and I'm going to slide my hands underneath the bell so the bell is just weighting me down. All right, and then I'm going to lift hips and legs. So I'm trying to go straight up vertical, which is different than going uh, over my head. <laughs> So I'm not gonna let my feet go towards the wall behind me. I'm really gonna reach my toes for the ceiling. And then I control it on the way down. Good, keep going. Time. All right, as you may have guessed, we're doing them again. <laughs> so preparing yourself for the pullover sit up. Here we go. When you sit up, try to get your chest right to your thighs. If you have a bigger build, and that doesn't work for you. Um, of course, it's totally fine to bring your legs apart. And then you try to get your chest in between your legs. So you're really getting the whole point of this is that you're getting as upright in your spine as possible. So you really come fully up to sit instead of stopping short, which would be more of a crunch. Here we're really doing full sit up. Time. All right, getting ready to anchor your arms over your head. This is your reverse crunch. Again, the big important piece is lower slowly. <laughs> okay, ready, begin. Because gravity wants to drop you back to the floor like very rapidly. And so the core contraction is to fight against gravity on the way down. There's obviously core contraction on the way up, but I really want you to focus today on the way down. Almost there. Can you do just a few more? Time. Ooh, how you doing? <laughs> we got one more round. I know this is where you're like, thank goodness we're not doing four supersets because three is plenty, right? <laughs> three is enough. <laughs> go, go, pull over, sit up. The good news is this is your third, third and final set for this superset. After this, we will do our five by five again. I know you're really looking forward to that. I am too. Ten seconds. Time, all right. So setting up for the reverse crunch or reverse curl, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> by, by any name, it is very sweet, isn't it? Or maybe it's a little bit salty. <laughs> Here we go. I know that I'm a little bit salty, which is to say sweaty. And I hope that you are too. Okay, so we just have a few more moments with this one. Then we're going to push for our, our final grand finale, guys. So keep going, keep going, keep hoisting. Get it up there. Time, goodness. Okay, so carefully come on up to stand. And uh, 
you are not getting an actual chicken on that one apologies but um but you you get you do get a chicken you just get you just just get like a virtual silent chicken um that's done let's do five by five all right so choosing your weights we have squat thruster squat overhead press and remember as we've said if adding momentum is not your bag then don't do it right so you could just do this as a plain press i'm going to use my legs and use some momentum okay so pick up those weights rack them and here we go squat press one two three four five carefully weights to the ground we have the push-up with either standing like a deadlift or a little jump ready let's go push up and up and then your choice here one mindful of your landings two don't rush yourself don't let me rush you take your time three and do it well four five all right it's nice it's nice single single double row ready let's get the weights and begin single single pulling from your back double time one two three four five amazing job snatches you're doing so great with this five by five snatches or you're substituting okay ready five per arm here we go one two power from the legs on those snatches three four five nice seesaws Whew. we got five Let's go right to them. Then we'll have a little breather. Ready? Hands down. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A little recovery. We do have one final push. And I know we're right about at an hour. One final push which is gonna put us a little over. But I promised you five by five by five. And because we removed one of the supersets in this pattern or in the layering of the format today, then we have only done four of our five by fives. We are gonna finish with one more five by five. So take 30 seconds, grab a drink of water, catch your breath. And we're just going to do this, just this five by five, one more time. All right. 
So choosing a weight that's working for you. First move is the squat thrust, but you still have 10 seconds to prepare. Remember, this is weighted cardio. This is your conditioning series for today. So we want the heart rate up. That's a good thing. Ready? Rack. Set your feet. Let's do five. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ready for push-ups and little jumps. I know the push-ups get hard as we get tired, but let's just do our best. Ready? Begin. One push-up, jump up, stand or jump. One, two, it's the last time you're ever doing this, or last time today. Three, so give it what you got now. Four, Five. All right. Very short rest. We got rows. We got rows. Pick up the waist carefully. Set position. Ready? Abs tight. Go. Single. Single. Double for two. Go again. Two. Three, four, five. Awesome. All right. Snatches or curl press. Last time for today. Maybe forever for you. I don't know. But at least for today. Let's do it. Power on those snatches if you're doing them. One. Two. Three. Four. five of them. Let's push through. Then we'll recover. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Recover. Let's tap side to side. Just a tap. Amazing job. So well done. Breathe. Breathe. Let the heart rate down. No arms. Easy feet. Good. Let's take this. Double. So tap, step. Again. Tap, step. Tap. Here we go. Double. So small, easy. Let that heart rate down. That last five by five was a real high intensity push but it's always so uh, good to finish strong. Because where you finish today's workout is where you pick up mentally uh, tomorrow's workout or next time, come back to single. So where you leave it now is where you pick it up next time. Remember that, okay? Mentally anyway, mentally. Whew, let's swing the arms a few times, cross, one arm on top and then the other switching. Nice and easy as you open the chest, arms go back. As you open the upper back, elbows cross in front. Just nice, simple, cooling movements here. 
All right, we're gonna do insole taps. A little bit of balance here. So it's just opposite hand to inside of foot. That means your knee goes out to the side. If you're bending forward, I'm gonna show you a few where I don't actually touch my foot. If you're bending way forward in your upper body, um, I would prefer you do this, okay? So we wanna stay tall spine. I'll show you another view there. So you wanna stay upright, which means if you have the range of motion in your hip, you get your foot to your hand. Um, if you have long monkey arms, maybe you get your foot to your hand, right? There's all sorts of considerations, <laughs> all sorts of variables, but you don't feel that the foot touching the hand is the important part. It's not, right? It's just a little dynamic hip mobility, nice recovery move. All right, let's do a butt kick. Yeah, again, excuse my rear view. I'm going to touch same hand to same heel. Uh, you don't have to make a circle. I'm just doing that so you can see what I'm doing. Unless you want to, it actually, it is kind of fun. <laughs> so if you would like to make a circle, feel free. All right, so this one, we're now uh, gonna have the option to hold on for a second. So a quick grab, release, grab, release. Um, if you have any discomfort in your knee joint from doing that, don't do it. Stay with the first one where you don't actually touch, or excuse me, you touch, but you don't grab. But if you can grab release, go ahead, do it with, like without any pain. If you can do that with no pain, then do a few more. Dynamic quad release here. Last time each, whoops, <laughs> last time, nice, all right. And then one more thing, or a final set of things. Take your feet wide like we did at the beginning. Yeah, take your hips back and just do that nice little speed skater. A couple times and then we're gonna pause. Good, so take a bend of one knee, other leg stays straight. And then the opposite hand to or towards the floor or the foot and twist, reach your opposite arm up. Nice, and then switch that. So you pause, rotate, and switch again. Pause, rotate, and again, switching. Good, let's do each side one more time. So it's a side lunge with a twist. Let's come center, two straight legs. Good, pause, breathe. Find whatever your depth here might be. Just try to get a, a gentle release so we're not aggressively stretching. That's probably never a good idea, to be honest with you, but. But um, in terms of pursuing flexibility, that's not what we're doing right now. That's a, different, that's a different movement session for you. You can do that at another time. Right now, it's really, it's just a little bit of length and a little bit of release, but we're not really doing deep stretch or deep flexibility work. That's, again, that's a different, that's just a different occasion. All right, so from where you are, bring your feet a little bit closer, but really, um, any distance that works for you to squat and then lower yourself into your full range deep squat Again, if it doesn't work for your joints, you would stay higher. You know that Already I hope right you know What your body is happy to do or not happy to do? Uh, so One more moment here just a little pressure um, of the knees going out so we can widen through the inner thighs Get a little hip rotation in here. Good, and then just for a moment, take a forward fold. So you flip your hips up into the air, let yourself hang over your legs, adjust your feet as you like. So I like to angle my toes straight forward and my feet are uh, probably hip or shoulder distance apart here not too wide on this one. 
Good, and then one more time again, very brief, lower and squat, just to put some slack back into the system, and then let's stand up. Good, at the top, shake one leg, shake the other leg, shake, shake, shake. Let's do two big breaths. So just standing upright, arms by your side, and then gather the, the breath, inhale, circle, reach. And then trace the circle slowly down, reach out, reach out, exhale. Good, one more time, slow and big, inhale. Lift everything from the soles of your feet, lift up, lift up, reach up. And then ever so slow, exhale, but keep all the lift, keep all the height. And taking that into the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. Um, I will be back next Tuesday with a whole new routine. Um, I hope to see you then. All right. Here's to fall fitness, my friends. <laughs> high five. High five. We're going to be good and strong and fit this fall. And, uh, and we're going to do it together. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.